can't believe we're the first ones to do this. Maybe we're just insane enough. My name is Kayla, and I'm playing the doctor. I think you have me confused with someone else. My name is Bonnie Kessinger, and I'm attempting to play John Watson. He's clearly meant. I'm Robin Singleton, I'm playing the companion Robin. Would you two mind explaining what you were doing? Lydia Hernandez and I am playing Jim Moriarty. It's not easy having you I'm doing half of everything on this project. I'm directing and writing and planning and acting. And I've co-written the script and apparently I'm sort of co-directing as well. Action. Kayla's. A while ago, I had an idea for a fan fiction um, that went with this storyline, but I was like, no, that fan fiction is going to be complicated and I want to do it justice. Because I was actually, it was a while ago, I was talking to my friend in the park and we were talking about what would happen if Sherlock and the Doctor met. And we were trying to decide how a, a fan fiction like that would open and it would be in a museum. And what if they went from like analyzing things around them to analyzing each other? And it was like this whole mind battle. And um, so I thought of a whole fan fiction to go along with that. And then somehow when we became friends and started hanging out and talking about this idea, somehow we decided that it would be even cooler and somehow not entirely crazy to just turn into a script and film it. So yeah, I don't know what happened there. Getting it written was really interesting. Um, we probably should have started a lot earlier, should have started this way earlier, especially since I'm flying out of the country soon. So. Um, the, the whole time crunch thing was interesting. There's several late night writing sessions and um, coffee shop writing session. It started out, it was like, yes, write things, write all the things. And then it was like, I'm stuck. And that's when I was like, Sarah, you write this bit because I have no clue what's going on. And so basically whenever I got like a mind fart, I was like, okay, you could pick up the slack. <laughs> and and I, I sugarcoat it with, you could be my co-writer. So, <laughs> um... Yeah, the writing, I got stuck a couple of times, but thankfully since I had Sarah to bounce ideas off of, we kind of helped each other through the sticky spots, and it was quite fun, especially because once you got going, you, like, it was especially interesting writing, like, the doctor's lines, because I forgot that I had to memorize all these, so I'd write, like, this giant, huge paragraph. Oh, that's my life. What? <laughs> what? Uh, geez, really, Robert? Look what I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> and later we'd be talking and be like, yeah, we should remember Oh, crap. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know. Writing it was fun, but it was harder than I expected it to be just to wrap and tie everything together. I'm really happy with it. It, it turned out quite well, I think. And, and I'm impressed by how much... It was pretty much split evenly, the, the writing. And our styles seem to coincide well and you know I showed all my writing to her before you know we moved on you can change anything this is your idea you know I don't want to mess it up but it, we were able to get in the same wavelength and I think it turned out really well I really I, I do really like it um to be completely honest I um, was at first hesitant on or rather I as a fan knowing what I do know, even though I don't know everything, uh, the, the whole, like, Moriarty, Masters thing, 
Sherlock Time Lord thing threw me off a little bit at first. But rolling with it, I mean, I think it ends up being a really fun script, and I mean, it's imaginative mm -hmm. and compelling. So I really liked that, I, especially how uh, Caleb's Sarah, how well they managed to make present the characters. I mean, I think they really captured who they are. I was thinking, where's Jim? And then I got to Jim, and I'm like, oh, Jim. And I was super excited, because then, like, I pictured all of it. Like, you should have seen me. I was reading it, and I got really excited, and then I stopped. And I was like, oh, wish it was already made, so I could just watch it now. <laughs> and then the ending, you're just like, oh. And I got really excited. Okay, well, the thing with the cast being female, it's just like, it's not something we could avoid. It's it's not femlock, or however people were referring to it in some of the comments, um, but uh, we're playing it more gender neutral because, it, again, if we go too far trying to be male, we risk running it into the parody category. I didn't want to ask everybody to chop their hair off, so I was going to, we just kind of looked at costume, tried to pick out costumes that were going to suggest a male character suggest, you know, try to hide the female figure, and, um, just basically improv with the hair, um, just the best we could. We wanted to make the characters, not a parody of the characters, not a parody of the actors, which is also why we decided not to do accents, because while some of us can probably do accents, not all of us can, and if some of us were doing accents and others weren't, that would just be weird, and if we all tried, it would end up making fun of the storyline, and we're really trying to make our own story. So instead we're trying for British inflections and slang, enough to give you sort of sort of a flavor of Britishness. I mean we're we're echoing the characters and the actors, but I'd like to make this ours as much as we can. Kayla did all the casting. First I thought of people who might be crazy enough to help me. And then I was like I was trying to decide who would be the best out of those people to play each character and they honestly kind of fell into place. And this is the bad thing, is I wrote it and like cast it in my head before I actually got anybody to actually say they wanted to be a part of it. She knows what she's doing. So uh, when she asked me to be Sherlock, um, it, we actually, the two of us actually sort of have a Sherlock and John dynamic going on where I get into a manic emotional state and, well not, he, he's not emotional, but you know, it's sort, of, it's sort of the crazy just completely ignoring everything else, locked in my own little world, like mind running a hundred miles an hour, and she's the one who always talks me down. So we already had that dynamic going, and plus also she said my, my hair and my cheekbones worked, so yay for that. Well, more or less, I was friends with Kayla and Sarah for about uh, three weeks, and then one day they just kind of came up, and Kayla pointed to me and said, you would be perfect for John Watson. Um, I guess we kind of, we were at dinner and Kayla was there, and she was just like talking about this project she was working on and asked a bunch of us to be in it, and so... She said that she was just going to make the companion me, essentially. We actually, I heard about it going to Bread and Soup. Uh, Kayla was talking to us about it, and then all I know is, like, I'm trying to eat my soup, and they're, like, whispering and scheming, and they're giggling, and they're looking up at me and looking back at each other, and I'm trying to eat my soup, and I'm all like, what up, guys? And I'm like, we were just talking, and... From a project in my history class, I had to play the devil, and I did it fairly well, apparently, and Kayla was all like, yay, evil, and I'm all like, cool, I can do that, and so, yeah. Everybody, honestly, I was ecstatic that they accepted the roles I gave them. Um, I feel like I can't possibly talk fast enough. Um, I also feel like I need a team of hairstylists, because it's impossible to get it to do what his does and I have a new respect for the people who work on David Tennant's head. Um, and I just hope I do him justice, especially because I don't have an accent, and if I try, that'll just kill it. So, I don't know, I just hope I can channel him enough, even though I don't look anything like him. Quite a bit intimidated, excited, honored, but also quite intimidated. I, I'm afraid that, <laughs> I mean, sort of, you know, who locks? You've got... Doctor Who and Sherlock and the two title characters and I'm one of them and I've not done a lot of acting before so I am that you save more people than he knows. I appreciate this. Are you real? You turn on the variable parallel setting?
Your story is full of holes, and they found the third witness. And the response we've been getting, which, it's like, this This I would do anyway, but to have so many other people seem to be so excited about it is really phenomenal. Thus far to the promos, um, I am blown away by the audience reaction. I mean, just the, the, the view count on the promos, and the comments we've gotten, and the fact that our professors are excited and been like talking to each other about it, and they're always, hey, are you filming today? I just, I'm blown away. I just hope we don't disappoint people. I have been blown away by how much people want to help us. I mean, cast and crew, you know, for a Saturday morning, like everyone was texting us the night before, like, hey, what time, what do I need to bring, and everything. Yeah, we were afraid it would be us, like, dragging people out of their rooms in the morning, but everyone's been so enthusiastic about it, and the professors and, you know, staff and, and everything have just been great about, hey, you know, you need to get in here, um, I, can, I can unlock the door for you, are you filming today, oh, do you need us to move this, and just encouraging us, and I've just been so excited with how nice everyone has been about everything, so thank you to everyone! And just everybody we've been working with has been so accommodating. And at first I was like, I wonder if I can get crazy people to be helpful. They decided they were going to be helpful, and it's amazing. You mean the jar is full of stuff over here? Interesting. You missed all the dissection labs. Then you could have had bags full of, you know, things lying around. Ugh. This could be good though, all yeah. these insects. For me, oh gosh. Okay, these types of things are on the same level as why people go into a horror, like, like haunted houses and stuff. I have no desire to go into a haunted house, but like the adrenaline they get from that is what I get from looking at stuff like this. It, I love it, but it freaks me out so bad. <laughs> We're in this cool lab in, in one of the buildings. Here we are in the TARDIS. Hiram's one, well, no. Many claims to fame. It is, is the TARDIS and 221B. You should probably also know that behind the scenes is a ton of fun. Oh boy, cast and crew pizza party. I got a good Yes. I'm waiting for like. Understandable. Hi. Hi. Awesome driver of drivingness. Thank you. <laughs> Chauffeur. It's my job to drive. Me. Chauffeur, yes. We should put it in his. You're looking very seductive this evening. Yes, Go around his back. Go down. One, two, three, four, five, six stacks. Six stacks. Okay. Damn. <laughs> this is what we do. That is still pretty good. Love it. <laughs> it depends on what time of the year it is. Because when there's a new season of one, the other one gets pushed to the back. Oh goodness. Oh, that's that's really tough. Doctor Who I've been into for almost a year now, and I mean went in, you know, head first with that and just I I love it. Um and then Sherlock I haven't been into for quite a, maybe a couple months, but at the same time, I've been really interested in Sherlock Holmes for a long time. I did like the original stories. I was really into those in like middle school and like elementary school. So, oh, do I have to choose? I'm a bit more of a Sherlock fan, but I do love Doctor Who. I like them both. I've only seen a few episodes of like scattered episodes. Like when I say scattered, I mean like I go from like maybe Doctor 10 to like 11 and back to 10. And then there's like these series of 10 where he's different. And then I'm like, ah, I'm all over the place. 
So I haven't like gone run through Tucker, mm -hmm. so I've seen all the episodes of the new series of Sherlock. I think they're gonna be shocked and excited. <laughs> and then like their brains will explode and they'll have like fan spasms and then it'll be like face keyboard and then it'll be like face screen and then it'll be like ah, I love you at the end of it. Like Robin, stop that. You're supposed to irritate your employer. You get crazy people to be helpful. Instead of distracting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like being at Disney World. No, I don't want to go. <laughs> Except for it's like a homicidal criminal, but it's Same Disney ride. Those so sorts of skills we don't know about. <laughs> Who are you? And what have you done? <laughs> and who are you playing? <laughs> I played the best. My companion's under the table. <laughs> She's got a bomb! <laughs> Surprise. Um, hide! <laughs> well, okay. Story time. Yay, go to the room. Um, Absolutely excited. What are you guys doing? Why do you have my spoon? My spoon. Guys. Um, I obviously am not actually like Jim. I uh, I, I can't do anything evil. Like I was watching a puppet show today, and I was like, oh, there's a cute little girl. And then like honestly, I was like, I wouldn't want to blow her up. And then Jim was like, blow her up. And I'm like, no. <laughs> Good boy.